12 May. Who'd have thought that with the entire world resting in the palm of my hand, my prized possession would be a can opener? Something survived in the airwaves. A ghost. The static teases me. I hear the voice of a radio commentator. Turn the microphone off. No one is listening. There's no one left to listen. Five June. The inescapable taste of siphoned gasoline. Pit stops and all things car maintenance are a royal pain in my ass. So I steal a new car every day. They all belong to me anyway. I inherited the world. 20 June. Road signs are officially pointless. Any sign for that matter. Each one a leftover remnant of a dead language. Infused with bad memories. Mangled metal. Glass shards of the asphalt. Stay awake! What is the call? Do you hear that signal? Dispatch. I can get there in time. Stay in range of the towers. Gotta keep driving. 3 August. Room after empty room. No TV lights of deep sea blue. Not one sexy silhouette. Six months of this and sharp, rusty objects start to catch my eye. 10 December. To pass the time in purgatory, I started a second journal. Of oddities. City lights keeping the dream alive. Fragile neon clutching for life versus the stubborn industrial tech that refuses to die. It's just me and the collapsing infrastructure waiting for happiness to return. 10. The highway is my lifeblood, otherwise I can't even move. I'm driving 12 hours a day to patrol five different towers. Who am I talking to right now? Did I record this message for myself? In case I drift too far into Purgatory's void. 12 May. Paralyzing frequencies. A constant buzzing in the air. I hear it again. Do you hear it? A memory transmission? Glass shards on the asphalt. Accent spikes in the white noise. I mark the longitude and the latitude. Hello? Keep the microphone on so I can triangulate your position. I'll find the mother tower. I'll find myself. Waiting. Don't miss the call.